the new RTX remix is supposed to turn old games into ray traced eye candy, so we're gonna use it on surf maps to make them better, or completely break them beyond recognition. For example, this is Surf Utopia by Panzer, and heck, here's the remade CS2 version. And this is Utopia in RTX Remix. And while there's some new beams of light flooding in from the windows, it looks different. That's not all we can do. Step one, textures. Like enabling world space UI textures causes them to emit light. Too much to be honest, I should have turned this down. And suddenly it's a completely new look. Step two is to make everything smooth. This almost shines the textures, makes them more reflective. Look at this, this is crazy. However, you can overdo it. If you turn roughness all the way down, it quickly turns into a horrifying mess. Textures are reflecting each other and themselves. It's cool, but not usable and super laggy. So after turning that off, we can reduce the albedo, which causes textures to absorb more light for an entirely different and more manageable look. But I had to see more maps, so what I did real quick is I tried about 20 of them and I'm going to take you on my journey using this tool and how it can be used to do some pretty insane stuff, even on really old maps. Like this original, the second map I tried, Surf Leaked, that let's admit it looks awful, it's an ancient map, and here it is in RTX. Sorry, it's pitch black because we're in a box. Let's turn on some textures, balance them, and boom. Lighting now breathes as you move around the world, and with some smoothing, we get a glassier look on the walls. But this isn't blowing minds, okay. Next I checked Kitsune, classic map. Boom, immediate mistiness, an actual ghosting on the weapons, really high bloom, but actually poor lighting. So let's fix that. Turn on some textures, only the accents of the ramps worked. And now I can see the ramps were glossy, like they were frosted and light underneath the floor could pierce through the mist. This was cool, okay, but it was laggy, very bad performance. And I'm not sure why, but God forbid you tap out, the game would just crash, almost guaranteed. But at least it worked because what I'm about to show you you is all the maps that broke. Disclaimer, what RTX Remix is really for is the creation of mods and remasters, using these awesome AI tools and basically the ability to turn any map into a USD file, the universal scene description format. This universality means any compatible game can be worked on with the same tool. But that's what this really is, it's a tool and also a game, which means when things break is because you or someone else hasn't put in the work to actually make the mod. For example, next I tried Mesa. I was on a nostalgia binge and here's the RTX version that didn't really work. I lit up the blue accents and rocks and I could light up the sand but it just looked silly so instead I turned down the roughness and things started getting crazy and ooh this looked so good holy crap however the map itself had some rendering issues some sections do not light correctly rocks are translucent where they should be solid and pop in and out and turning it down helped a little bit but now it was just dark so I tried lighting the walls instead it turned them white and now we were in the winter version of Mesa. Then I messed up and added some lights again, flooding and breaking the whole thing. I was just spamming buttons, okay? It ended up really looking cool anyway, but Rookie was also weird. The ground is permanently blinding white, here I'll turn that down for you, and couldn't be selected, likely because it's supposed to be water. I finally found something acceptable, making things shiny made it worse, but I was able to power these tinted stage panels, which led to something nice. Not great but certainly different, even from its CS2 remake. And at this point, I played with probably the best map from the entire bunch, but I'm gonna save that for later, okay? However, some maps just look straight up worse. Here is the original Whiteout by Furix, and here is the remix version. Really horrible bright lighting, textures that did not look right, and it was pretty glitchy in general. The most I could do was make everything shiny again, but the original looks so much better. As did Pantheon, this is one of my favorite maps, just phenomenal lighting in general that doesn't make it into RTX. All the models are low res and the water is gone, you would need extra mods or something for that. You can make it nice and shiny, and while it did have its moments, kind of how we hoped CS2 would have looked, it really wasn't an improvement. And this is where things got really broken. This is Andromeda, and I wanted it to work so badly because of the ambience and the beautiful translucent ramps of the original that were now completely cooked, solid white. And a lot like Mesa, the surrounding rocks don't stay solid. I made it shiny, but that didn't help the fact that it was now tearing apart. And warning for the photosensitive, later parts of the level started strobing like this and lagged. Angst by Proxy Chains is one of the best looking maps ever made. 
I really wanted it to work. And at first it did, but as I started to go through, I realized many of the textures were just not there. The original is one of the most detailed maps in existence, and now it was just a pasty white. And the map that I was most excited for, Surf Agony, also by Proxy Chains, was terrifyingly bad. It, I don't even know how to fix this, and it was probably because the original map is complicated with lots of custom stuff that maybe just doesn't work natively in the engine or need a mod or heavy work in RTX. Even oldish maps like Drift that would have looked amazing were just missing textures in the new engine. But that's okay, because now I can show you the good stuff. The best maps I found and crazy features that might actually have use cases for you right now. For example, there is nothing technically stopping you from using RTX Remix in multiplayer at your own risk. And it just ran, and while nobody knew it, I was the only one playing an RTX Ray Traced. Surf, Bona, yeah. It's supposed to look like this, and it just looks really good. Although it was laggy, I'll admit, especially for a competitive mode, you're not gonna do very well. But I even made it to the very end with these lasers, but I died. However, please be careful. This is a mod, and could technically get you banned as it uses a DLL injection. So do not join VAC protected servers, and please check with your specific specific server's terms of service or ask an admin for just joining up with this mod. Thankfully for easy maps, we can just play offline. Surf Summer, a very complex map that worked out of the box, with native lighting intact and with just a few changes could be completely transformed. Totally new fields that could be made even better and my personal favorite, the skateboarding level, looked freaking amazing. And surprisingly the performance, the FPS, was okay on this map. However, what happens when we go to a harder map, like Surf Anubis, the hardest one in the game? There's no way I could ever play this and show it to you. Well, it turns out we can run demos. After fixing up the map offline, I just ran a replay of another person's run, and we're able to watch the world record, the previous world record, with the same settings I added offline, which means many runs from the past can already be upgraded into RDX pretty easily. Here's another example. This is Looks Modern, a very old map, and I couldn't even get past the second ramp, but after adding some lights, reflectiveness, and with the demo loaded up, we can experience the past in a whole new way. I I forgot to turn off my webcam. Hi. Some stuff looks the same, like the grass on the floors. This is just throwing the CSS map into the engine. We could try to capture and export this map into RTX Remix to try to change textures and stuff, like making the grass realistic or the like. I wanted to show you that, but I want to let you see this run. So far, I can only show you clips, and goddamn, does it look good. Here's another one, Surf Goliath, that originally looks like this, a tinted green, but turns into a huge chrome beast that actually runs pretty well. Turning on the original lighting, then transforms it into a mysterious labyrinth. We lost that green hue, iconic in the original map. But this was by far the best map out of the box, Cyberwave in RTX absolutely insane especially with a bit of smoothness now i'm just gonna be honest i don't know nearly enough about this software and it is very new while there are some guides find the links down below this was all above my pay grade i have no experience with mods or mapping but that doesn't mean we're done with this software first off if you want to see a map in rtx remix leave a comment down below or upvote the ones you like i can easily make another one of these and i already have a few that i didn't get to show you Second, if you're making a mod for RTX for Counter-Strike Source, Surf, B-Hop, Zombie Escape, please hit me up in my Discord. I'd love to keep working on this. And lastly, there is a major Surf tournament coming up March 23rd at 11 a.m. EST with tons of big names and an open prize pool. So if you're a surfer, be there. Bye. Bye. Have a good one.